Hello and welcome to Change Bible Study. We're still here in Luke chapter 19 in the story of Zacchaeus. And we're following up on the story to see what happens after Zacchaeus lets Jesus in. Jesus not just wanting to see him, but wanting to spend time with him. He comes into his home. In fact, Zacchaeus welcomes him in. It says in verse number 6, Luke 19, And he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. That's powerful. Zacchaeus lets Jesus into his house. He gives him a feast and he welcomes him. And it's amazing that the degree to which he welcomes him, it's also the degree to which Jesus changed him. Because when you read in verse number seven, when people are responding, it says they saw it and they all murmured saying that he was going to be a guest with a man that is a sinner. He was a sinner. But look at what happens after Jesus comes in. Verse 8, And Jesus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, excuse me, and Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation, I restore him fourfold. Not twice over, not three times, but fourfold. That was in accordance to the law. That was actually in line with what the, the societal idea of restitution was, was to replace something four times over if you had stolen it. So in one verse, he's being called a sinner. And in the next verse, he's walking straight in line with what God would have his children to do to show repentance. It is impossible for Jesus to come in and we stay the same. We'd stop using language like God understands. And we start using language like God did something. God changed something. We stop using language like, well, well, only God can judge me. And we start using language like, what can I do um, to let God know that I love him? We stop using language like, why can't I or why shouldn't I do this? And we start using language like, Lord, what can I do? What and how can I show how much I love you and what you've done for me? There's a change that comes when Jesus has come in. We normally call it repentance. And that is the act of repentance, of turning back to God. But then there's the fruit of repentance. And it's that people see there's a difference. And right here, in one verse, you see a change from a sinner to restoring those people. Some of those, I bet you there were some of those people who he was talking to, they were the ones who called him a sinner. And he's ready to restore them. Did you see the power of Jesus coming in? That's the difference. He could not and he would not have done these things in permanence if he had not let Jesus in. He could have done it to ease his conscience, but he would have gone back to the old way. He could have done it to look good, but he still on the inside would have been a cheat. And it would have come out in his life. But because Jesus was in the picture, in his heart, you see a change. This is the reason for repentance, because Christ in me, the hope of glory, is revealed to others through acts of love and kindness, even forgiveness. So I am grateful for Zacchaeus' story that he didn't have to climb into a sycamore tree. He just really had to let Jesus climb into his heart. I pray that we do the same. Until next time, please remember that change is good.